Okay, um, the ongoing battle with the gauges that never ends. I thought I'd post a video so someone would take advantage of my misery and not go through the same problems. This is my new gauge, this is my old one. It's hard to see, I'll zoom in here and I'll turn it a little bit, see if I can get it in focus. As you can see, this thing's fried, okay? Now, what occurred here is that the whole speedometer casing was hot. The red wire that comes in around the back charged the whole thing. This is the ground bar which goes between the two um, on the back side here, you probably see it on yours. And it was never really grounded, a complete circuit was made. Now this is an interesting little thing here. Here on the uh, volt tester, right, now that this here is fried, this is a complete circuit and this is a complete circuit. So they're not reading any difference in the resistance on them or I'm not using this right, but I think I am. So you just got to be careful to make sure everything's grounded before you do this because I saw this spark and it smoked and now this is gone. And in case you're curious, a set of new gauges, these things here, cost about 60 bucks. The whole speedometer costs about 125. This is my second set of these gauges. This is my second speedometer on a rebuild. So you do the math. So make sure you get everything wired, take it slow. And a reminder, if you've got fiberglass tub, like me, you're gonna have a lot of problems with this stuff. I'm gonna test this one time with a quick touch, see what happens. Hopefully the fuse will only blow if I have a problem, and then I'm just gonna disconnect it and not deal with it.